Tell us what your name is. My name is Thelma Waller. And you're the granddaughter or the great granddaughter? No, the granddaughter. Granddaughter. Of William Henry Hall, who designed and helped build Maud. And we're on the Maud today, aren't we? Indeed. And he was hit, so your grandfather, when would he have been born? Um, 18. 79 I think and where was he born? He was born in Reedham and he came from the Hall family right who had the Werry Yard at Reedham and which is where Werry Moor was built yes. in 1897? Nine. Nine. Yep. 1899? Yes. Okay and you you actually met your grandfather? Yes I did, uh, he was a lot, he died when I was 12 so I knew him really well for, for those 12 years. So what, tell us what you re remember about him. He was only a very short man and he had um, a finger missing on one of his hands. Carpentry so, accident? I think so um, and I would never hold that hand because I didn't like the feel of his fingers squashing up in my hand so right. I'd always go round him and hold the other hand if we were out together. Yeah. He also had um, he, he, a bald head but hair round the end, round the outside, a few strands just going over the top and he, when I was very small, he would sit very patiently while I brushed his hair and and brushed these few hairs over the top and we always used to say oh, we had nine hairs and a knit. I see, that's where that came from. But he didn't really have head lice. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work out how old he was when he died then. So you were 12. Um, 84, I think it was. So yeah. he, had, he had quite a good innings then. He did, yes. Yeah, and he spent most of his life on the, on the boat, with boats. Well, he, they moved, my, he and my granny, when they got married in 1909, they'd they moved first to Brundle in Norwich where he worked on a boat yard and then he worked his way to Alton Broad right. and worked on a, on a boat yard on Lake Lothing okay. for a time and then he, he went out of that into a, um, a carpentry job at the silk factory in Alton Broad but most of his life he'd, he'd built boats. And his father was also a boat builder? His father worked on the yard and it was his grandfather who started the Hall's yard in Reedham right. in the early 1800s. Okay. And you've been over to where the yard was? Oh, yes. Yeah. yes, definitely. Do you remember it from from when you were a child or? I only ever once went over I think I went over once. Did I go with my granddad? I went I know I went over after he died to, because his brother still lived in Reedham. But um I didn't go as a child, no, we didn't. No. When Nanny and Grandad left, they left Reedham. Yeah. End of. Whether there was some family dispute or breakup, I don't know. No. But, uh, but you've retained your link with Wherry, obviously. Well, All the I, time, or? No, no, I've, I've come back to it since, since Maud was... Right, resurrected. Resurrected, yeah, if you like. Yeah. But he did, um, he also made model boats and in the in one of the houses they lived in Lowell stuff I can remember that he, he'd got um, a model the fairy queen and it used to be on the table in the dining room right so I remember seeing that there well that sounds lovely yeah and when I was nine I went up to London and visited the science museum to see three of his model boats that are in the science museum oh really in London yeah and you you told me something rather interesting about the number the numbers on the oh yeah the hatch the hatch covers oh here there's one yeah yeah well, the numbers on them are all written in Roman numerals because um, carving curves in wood is much harder than straight lines. So they use new, no Roman numerals. So they, because they're all straight, apart from when you get up to a hundred. But you're probably not likely to need no, that no, underwear. No, really. no, no, probably not. <laughs> so uh, how how does it make you you feel coming on on Wherry Moor a hundred years after your grandfather built it then? I always loved him to bits yeah. and I'm even more proud of him now than I was and I just wish he could know that I've taken up the interest and he'd be tickle pink yeah, I'm sure to he know would. that I am interested And you're very proud of him, I am clearly. very proud of him, yeah. 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 Well, part, we of all are. Iconic, part of an iconic trade of this part of the world. Yeah, because yeah. there's really only two left like this, isn't yes. there? Yes, two yeah. trading yeah. Thank you very much, Thelma.